Hello guys, welcome to winsystech.com and today we will see what is a WSDL file and what's its use, right? So WSDL is nothing but Web Services Description Language, right? So if you go to the w3schools.com, you have here about Web Services and WSDL tutorial, okay? So I don't want to go deeper into that at moment okay but just i would like to tell you what is wsdl right so wsdl stands for web services description language right so it is a language for describing web services and how to access them right and it's written in xml file in previous video we seen that so soap is a protocol and used for communication between different web applications right so any service they communicate with different applications by using WSDL file right that's in written in XML format so that's what I told you okay so this is a website like booking.com or hotels.com and this is different suppliers or different hotels they are supplying their pricing for the user request okay so this communication this communication between both the parties this response request and response both the parties will communicate through the XML format as I told you that is nothing but WSDL file okay so web services description language so this is nothing but it is a XML format file right so we'll see now we will add some web service and we'll see how it works right so let's I'm using soap UI free version here I'm using the version called 5.2.0 it's a free one I shown you another another video how to download install soap UI so let's see how we can use WSDL file to get the response and requests right so bear with me it's taking some time sorry it's taking long time anyway that's fine right so this is a startup page right so if you want to create any soap new project say file new soap project you can see here it's giving you a project name and it's asking a WSDL file okay so without this file you cannot communicate with any provider or supplier right so in our case now I would like to request some say you want to get some global weather or currency converter like that so try something free WSDL services like web services so try like this free web services so currency converter something right you have some link called here web service x dot net okay so this has many free web services right so here you can see here WSDL schema location and you have one WSDL link here right so just copy this and see what's there okay open in a browser you can see here this is a XML format file and we can call as a WSDL file right so this file will be used to communicate a web service from my soap UI to 
different pricing currency right you can see here values for different different countries say here you have GBP that's for Great Britain pounds and you have somewhere like uh, <coughs> INR Indian rupees so like this you have different different pricing here maybe for USD for US dollar right now copy this file and go to SOAP UI and here I repeat you again so file new SOAP project and here in the initial WSDL add this right so it automatically picked up its title here currency converter if you want you can change the title here right so at moment I don't want to change any title and just click OK see here it's loading the definitions means loading the services so it's loaded here you can see at the top currency converter and here under currency converter soap here you have one request and you can see here it's called a soap request okay so we are requesting through soap protocol right so double click this request one and you can see like this okay so basically this is the request you are requesting and the response comes from the provider say now from currency means I want to convert some pricing say GBP GBP means pounds right and to currency means I want to convert to INR means Indian rupees right so here you have a green button at the top left so click that you can see here and the response I got response back from the server like the price conversion is for 1 GBP you have means for 1 pound you have 101 rupees and some pence like this okay so the same I want to convert to US dollars so USD right from currency GBP and to currency USD and you can get like this right so one pound it's like equals to some US dollars right so this is the request which I'm requesting from my SOAP UI and this is the response from the provider so this is how a WSDL file loads the requests right so this is called request and this is called response and the response you have like you have XML and you have some raw data here here also you have XML format and raw data here right right so I think that's it for this video right so thank you for watching the video